Today at Bike It, we're changing the brake pads on our Yamaha MT-09 Tracer. Whilst the thought of changing your own brake pads might seem scary to some, they are responsible for making you stop after all. The whole process is very easy to do and not one to be overlooked. With just a few tools, you can not only replace your pads, but clean up the entire caliper in the process, because cleaning the parts you can't see is equally as important as those you can, especially when it comes to brakes. The tools required for this job can be found in most motorcyclist socket sets. Most importantly though, you'll need patience and some elbow grease, a comprehensive socket set, hex key bit set, plenty of brake disc cleaner, copper grease, a couple of toothbrushes, some blue roll, plus a pair of mechanics gloves that should see you through the entire process from start to finish. You'll also need the brake pads you're going to be fitting to your bike if you are changing them. We'll be fitting these AP Racing sintered pads to our bike today. Let's get started. First things first, the brake pad pins. Depending on the brand of caliper equipped to your motorbike, the method by which the pads are held in place can vary. Some brake pad pins screw into the caliper, whilst other pins are held in place with a C-clip. Load your ratchet with an appropriately sized hex key or socket and loosen the brake pad pins if present, or use pliers to gently remove the C-clip and push the pin free. These pins hold the brake pads and anti-rattle springs in place within the caliper. You don't need to remove these entirely. Simply loosen them enough so that they can be easily removed in a few steps time. The reason to do this now with the caliper still fixed to the fork is as with the buildup of grime and brake dust, these pins can easily seize. Next, load a ratchet with the appropriately sized hex key or socket and undo the two main bolts that hold the caliper to the fork leg and lift it clear of the disc, being careful not to scratch the wheel or mod guards as you go. With the caliper now removed from the fork leg and in hand, continue to unscrew and remove the brake pad retaining pins. Be careful, the anti-rattle springs don't ping off and get lost. They'll typically try and make a bid for freedom as you draw the pins out. With the brake pad pins now removed, the anti-rattle springs and brake pads can now be removed from the caliper. Set these down on a clean surface next to the pad pins. You'll get to inspecting or cleaning these later. With one of the motorcycle's calipers in hand, empty of pads, now is a good time to take a good look inside. Spray brake cleaner directly into the caliper and onto the pistons and agitate any stubborn brake dust or dirt build up with a brush. This is where the old toothbrush comes into play. Do not, and I repeat, do not use a wire brush as this will result in marking the pistons and or damaging rubber seals. Either will result in a bad day and affect brake performance. Make sure the exposed outer surface of each piston is clean, reapplying brake cleaner where required and continue agitating with the toothbrush. Once all the built-up deposits of brake dust have been agitated with the brush, hose down the area with more brake cleaner and wipe down with a microfiber cloth or towel. Once clean, gently push the pistons back into the body of the caliper by hand. With the caliper now looking factory fresh, it's now time to turn your attention to the pads, bolts and pins. Visually inspect the pads, ensure each has plenty of friction material left on it, is wearing evenly and that the pads aren't glazed or corroded and replace where required. Spray down the pads with brake cleaner, cleaning off any built up brake dust deposits and old copper slip off the reverse of the pads. Once happy with the condition of the pad, or if you've got some new pads to hand, apply copper slip to the back plate of the pads and pins. No need to go over the top, you don't want this going everywhere and ending up on the pads friction material or on the brake discs themselves. At this stage, it's always a good idea to take the opportunity to inspect the disc. Give it a spray and clean with brake disc cleaner. It'll remove the surface contaminants as well as free off any stubborn brake dust. Once they're sprayed down, wipe over and dry with a clean microfiber towel. If using free floating discs, it's well worth checking and inspecting if the bobbins are free of grit and not seized too. As you can see, our disc is in a bad way, heavily corroded and you can even feel the uneven surface on the disc itself, which means it's time to replace them. So we'll quickly whip out the front wheel and replace the pair. We've chosen these awesome floating brake discs from MTX. that's it, brake discs done. Time to put it all back together. Carefully place the pads back into the caliper, making sure they are the correct way around. 
Top these with the anti-rattle springs, making sure these are the correct way around too. And secure the pins, securing them in or securing them with the C-clip. Reseat the caliper over the disc. You may need to separate the pads further apart, especially if new pads have been installed. You can do this with a large screwdriver. Just push the pads apart and reattempt the install process. Once installed over the disc, apply some copper slip to the main caliper bolts and affix to the fork legs. Tighten all bolts to OE torque specifications. And that's it. One down, one to go. Simply repeat for the other front caliper and your brakes will thank you for some time to come. Once both sides have been cleaned and remounted to the forks, remember to pump the brake lever to pressurize the braking system and get the pistons and the pads back into their optimum positions. Remember to allow your new brakes time to bed in for a good few miles before attacking your favorite roads and rejoice in a job well done. Feel free to celebrate your achievement with a new helmet or maybe some new carbon fiber. We hope this was helpful. Let us know down in the comments how you look after your brakes on your motorcycle and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and of other new products here at Bike It. Ride safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one.